Okay, so last time I did some recording on this, I um, had this almost finished, and then as I was uh, doing the final assembly, I put slightly too much pressure on um, the LCD panel. Yeah, you can really see it now. So, uh, I have here one more, um, and so I'm going to quickly salvage that stick it in this and I'm going to just loosely place everything together to demonstrate the idea that I was going for. Uh, things have changed since I was building this and I don't actually need it but I think it was a really cool idea so I want to demonstrate it and show it uh, working. Uh, I'm then going to rebuild it back um, to a normal laptop which I'm going to be using uh, for what I need now. Uh, now you see the funnyhacks.com uh, on the back here. That is actually coming from here. There we go. Okay, so you can see I have loosely uh, put everything together just so that I can quickly demonstrate the concept. Um, so you'll notice here that the text from the other side is uh, coming through fairly strong, although when you actually start using it you don't notice it so much. Now, if I just go and pop this behind, you'll notice there's a very slight brightening, so we're losing a little bit of light out the back. Okay, now uh, that is a key point to consider once we get outside. Okay, so this result is not as spectacular as I was hoping. So you have a look like this, and this is what it would be like if the LCD was normal. And if I go like this, you can see there, I can actually make that quite visible. Uh, and this is just in uh, bright daylight. Um, so all I'm doing when I'm doing that is I'm just... Uh, playing with putting this sheet behind there. Now the reality would be that uh, if I was doing this more practically what I'd actually have is a, a flap which uh, comes down here to reflect the light in and once I'm doing that I could actually get rid of the backlight altogether uh, but then that becomes, it comp becomes completely unusable inside. It's also really interesting to see that this particular LCD loses a lot of light. Yeah, the amount of light the backlight puts out is quite phenomenal, and yet what actually comes through is very little. Oh yeah, you can sort of see the difference happening there. Yeah, the sun has gone behind a cloud, which uh, both helps and hinders. Okay, and the sun comes out. So you can see that the glare is worse now. Here we go. So the glare is quite a lot more. Um, I can actually see better with my eyes than I can with the camera, which is quite interesting. I think I could use that without straining my eyes. As soon as I get the shade there, it's really easy. Um, can you see the difference in the shade? I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look once I, uh, once I edit it. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's uh, been really cool to see this work. Um, I think it would be really interesting to try on a more uh, efficient LCD, and what I mean by that is one where a lot more of the light uh, comes through. Uh, I'm not sure how modern LCDs compare, whether they're just simply making the LCDs more efficient, or whether they are uh, making the backlights much more powerful. Uh, but in any case, um, this is everything I wanted to try on this, so uh, now I'm going to disassemble it and reassemble it as, a, as the original laptop. Actually, a point I was just going to make was that notice um, the funny hacks down the back. Um, you pretty much don't notice that at all um, there. However, if we come around over here, uh, but you can see it's quite clear there. Alright, and so this is what um, it's now looking like now that I've uh, got everything almost reassembled. As always, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, or uh, go to funnyhacks.com for more material.